To date, about 4% of Maryland's population has received the first dose of the COVID vaccine. According to data provided by the state, white people are being vaccinated at a higher rate than black and brown people. Black people make up 31% of the state's population, but 15% of those vaccinated. And Hispanic and Latino people make up 10.6% of the state's population, but 4% of people vaccinated. We need your help. In a virtual meeting with Baltimore ministers, Dr. Anthony Fauci tried to break down barriers. First, acknowledging that many people of color feel that medicine has used them as medical guinea pigs. What about the safety and efficacy? Is it safe and is it, is it effective? Should I believe the government? Heck, they lied to us so many times. Why should we believe them now? Minister raised issues of access to the vaccine. Fauci said the Biden plan eases access by setting up community sites and mobile vans. President Biden really harped on that. <laughs> he said, hey, wait a minute. I want to make sure we have enough um, capabilities to get out into those communities where people can't just go around the corner in the middle of a city and walk into a CVS or a Walgreens and pick up their vaccine. Fauci spoke of the impact of what he called fake news, misinformation on the public's confidence in the vaccine. There's been so much miscommunication that has preceded what we're trying to do right now. Misinformation, you know, talk about things being a hoax and fake news and not real. People have great trust in their churches. And when the church takes the lead in getting the correct information to people, it's amazing how you can help turn around things. That meeting today was sponsored by the University of Maryland at Baltimore. Locally, Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott told us today he does intend to get the vaccine, but will wait his turn. He's only 36. And City Council President Nick Mosby said today he will get the vaccine. He had previously expressed some reservation. Reporting live tonight in Northwest Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.